Hey. Yeah. Okay. Hey, brother, check this out. So, you know I'm running that YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the topics that I've been talking about or that some people have been asking about, bro, is uh, what these 50 50 yards are. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, what's, what's been happening. So, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, bro? Uh, tell them a little bit about yourself, where you're at, and uh, okay. what's happening with, with those guys. All right. Uh, my name my name's, uh Justin, Justin Wallace from San Jose. Uh, I was going to uh, Trigger from San Jose from Wall Street. Uh, I was out there. I was out there in uh, 2000, uh, uh, about 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008. I was, I was in a couple of regiments. I was under Sammy. Uh, he ended up getting indicted with the homies, and uh, and then Capone ended up rolling, and I, I fell under Capone under his regiment. I was the second until mm-hmm. until uh, uh, until we got caught up. Me and me and Wu and three others, we got caught up uh, on the kidnapping under uh, under Capone's orders. So uh, well, let me get this right, bro. So basically, you were out there functioning, under Sammy at one point. Sammy got busted. Yeah. Then you fell under Capone, right? Yeah, exactly. And then, and then you and you and Rule, um, Rule Atwell, the other homie, uh, you guys got caught up for the kidnapping that was uh, done under the directives of of Capone, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Who's that individual that? Uh, who was the victim in your case? The victim was. Uh, Orlando Enrique is aware. He was from a tagging crew from TNC. Right. He actually a lot of the taggers turned into homeboys. So uh, I was I was in in 2006. I did a I did a parole violation in Quinton, and that's where I met that fool. So in 2008, when we were out, uh, he came to me to get some work, to get some hollers, you know, some crystal. So I was supplying him with like. I was supplying him with like an ounce of cube crystal, you know, for him, have him bring back the money, you know. It was all, he knew, he knew it was in that, in that boat, you know what I'm saying? So he knew the consequences if he uh, tried to burn us and rip us off. So and that, that's pretty much what he did at the end. He started getting high and he lost control of himself. And uh, so uh, he ran off on us, hit for us, hit from us for about a month. And, uh, I had orders from Capone to find him. Uh, we were supposed to we were supposed to kill him, take an example out of him. But uh yeah, he ended up surviving. Yeah. That individual hey yeah, I remember right, you guys had him in a van, you guys were pistol whipping that cat and uh at some point he opened up the door and just dove out in the street, right? Yeah, yeah, he he managed to open the door man and, and, and fell out. I tried to get out and pick him up, but he was passed out. It was his head weight, man. I couldn't get him up. So we ended up just driving off, leaving him there. Uh, people called the ambulance, and uh, he went to the hospital. I guess he woke up, and, and uh, uh, Sergeant Dan Livingston and, and uh, Sergeant T.J. Lewis were right there waiting to interrogate him. I guess they had found out somehow that it was an related, so... Dan Livingston and T.J. Lewis, they were, you know, they were, they were hot on the homie's tail, so, uh, so, yeah, that, that's, you know what I mean? They were hey, done for everyone, so. You ain't got to get into the whole details of the case. Hey. Okay. It's okay. Good. Hey, check this out, though. Where'd I meet you at, Trigger? Uh, we met in, the, we met in, uh, uh, county jail. I met you in the county jail, in Santa Clara County Jail, when I was fighting my case, right? Yes, sir. I believe uh, the homie um, Vinny Monster is the one that introduced us. Yeah. So we rolled. Yeah, we had, some, we had some good times. Yeah, I stayed in that county jail for for nine years, bro. I think I was over there with you for about how many years we we were there? I was there for four and a half. Four and a half. Right. Yeah. Okay, so so anyway, you ended up getting convicted 
you go to the, you want to rule both, go to the joint. Um, obviously, at some point they send you to an X and Y. So, where yeah. are you at right now? Okay, right now, right now I'm at CFC Marco. Uh, it's a it's a non-designated yard. So pretty much, so the way it goes is is the Mexicans, the Northerners, the Spaniels, uh the white boys, we're pretty much all in the hat. We're, we're either all this in line, or if you stayed here, you're in the hat. You can't go back to the line. What is black? Hey, hold on. Hey, what is mm-hmm. CDC yard? What, what, do they, what do they call that yard? What's, what's the, okay. What they CRC is California Rehabilitation Center. No, do they call that, what I'm saying is, do they call that yard a 50-50 yard? Is it an S and Y yard? Is it a... No, this is this is considered non designated. Non that's what they call it, just non designated? Yeah. Okay. Well, go ahead. So you were saying now the blacks went? Okay, so 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 the blacks they they, they still consider themselves uh G P. Uh they can go they can go from here to other prisons. You know that their 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 structure's a lot different from, from the Mexicans and the whites, so uh, you know, they can still they can still function with, with you know, child molesters and rapists and still pretty much go wherever. You know how you know how they are, man. They they don't they don't even check their own paperwork, so they probably got a bunch of amongst themselves anyways, you know what I mean? Well they're not but, uh, like but hey, check it out. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah not all of them. Good. Not all of them, you know what I mean? But the ones right here, the ones right here, they're not tripping like that, bro. Okay, so so the ones that are over there with you, the, the Africanos that are with you on that yard, they're they're mm-hmm. straight up uh, general population. They're active, but they but CDC CDCR basically feels like they're not a threat to you guys. So they're the only ones that are really active that are out there with you guys, right? Yes, that's correct. What type of relationship you guys have with them? You guys kicking with them? You guys just, you guys program with them? Is it just like it's regular? They're out there with you guys kicking it. Okay, when I was on when I was on B yard, uh, when I was on B yard, they were kind of doing their own thing. We were kind of doing our own thing. Uh, me personally, I had a, I had a, a a good relationship with a few of them, but um, I could tell I could tell that some of them felt like they were better than us. You know what I mean? Because they still consider themselves uh, GP and whatnot. But um, right here on the yard that I'm at right now, I'm on B yard. Every, everyone's Everyone's kind of cool. It's, it's chilling right here. Everyone's pretty much trying to go home right now. There's not too much politicking going on. Um, it's it's real laid back right here where I'm at right now. This 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 yard right here, D yard, was actually S and Y from the beginning. So a lot of the, a lot of the dudes that are that are here, even the blacks were initially uh, S and Y from the beginning, you know. But um, but uh, take it you've been investigated before, right? What's that? I take it that you've been interrogated before, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be asking you questions. Just keep that in mind, man. Okay, bro. Hey, so let me let, let me uh, just get some of these, a few of these questions out the way that some of the viewers have been asking about. So basically somebody that goes to, to S and Y, being that they're out there, there's a lot of S and Y gangs that are out there on these yards. Yeah. Would somebody be able to just go out there and program on the solo tip, or would they, or with the other, some of the S and Y gangs out there, the dropout gangs, would they uh, basically put pressure on fools to uh, get tipped up? No, <clears throat> no, right, right here, uh, you can do your own thing. There's a lot of homies that are just that are just chill, keeping themselves. Um, me, me personally, I I tend to to find other homies like myself that that uh. You know, we we just consider ourselves regulars. You know what I mean? We're not gonna be pushed up all by no one. I mean, we're not gonna be trying to be pushing up on people neither. But uh, we just kind of look out for each other. You know what I mean? Right. We, we, a lot of us still came from the gang background, so uh, you know, when, when you find people like yourself, you tend to 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 attach yourself to them. You know? That's right. Hey, so so uh. That, that yard's considered a non-designated yard, but now I had a conversation with you a, 
was last week or a couple weeks ago, and you told me that basically they've been bringing active cats out there to that yard. So I'm confused, man. Uh, what 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 is the fifty fifty yard and what is the non designated yard? Are they the same thing? Um. <clears throat> yes. It's uh. Okay. Well. well now you know what a fifty fifty yard back in the day. I remember. See, Jamestown Level Three used to be a fifty fifty yard. All the all the cars on all the all the group segments on the yard were GP except for the Northerners. The Northerners were considered no good. They weren't they weren't PCs yet, but they weren't programming basically under the NF. You know what I'm saying? They were kind of just doing their own thing. That was a fifty fifty yard. CNC was like that too, level three. Um, right here, non designated. It, it it the the Southsiders, the Northerners, and the White Boys are not active. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. The others, the others, and they're, they're not really doing anything. Um, I think the most of the others that are here are pretty much just the white and south, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay, so... Yeah, that'd be, that, that'd be the difference. Okay, so a couple, uh, last week or a week ago, what, um, I mean, you know how it is, only when we're doing time, we, all, we always... Uh, you know, we run across some, some cool uh blockers in there, right? And and yeah. a lot of times we'll have we'll have uh agreements with them. Not working yeah. with but as far as like, hey man, you know, they know what what time it is with you there and you basically yeah. had an agreement with them like, Hey, if you bring some active cats, you would say heads up, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that was how I was going at first. So what happened? Okay, so so last so probably about two weeks ago, uh I'm in my room, I'm working out, and I see them bringing some cats. I see them bringing three dudes. When I look out, I, I could see, I could see by, by looking at them, they're, they're not a threat. I think one was like an old white man, another was an older black man. Um, yeah, I, I think they might have been like an older, older Mexican dude. I, obviously, just by looking at them, they're really not no threats, you know what I mean? They're, they're, right. I could tell that, that they probably weren't even active, man. They don't even their hygiene wasn't kept up or nothing, you know. Yeah. So, so you go back to working out. Yeah. So no. So I look out my door because we're in rooms. We're like in a hallway. So I step out of my room and I look towards the front door and I see them bring those dudes in. And, and a couple homies are up there. They hit them up and like they escort them to their room. So obviously they're, they're not gonna. They're not, they're not posing no threat. They're not gonna get off whatever. You know they're gonna stay here to stay. They ain't gonna bust the grapes. They nah, gonna... nah. So, so about an hour after that, I I shower. I'm sitting on my rack, and uh, I could see I could see the program office from my room, from the window. So I'm looking, and I see them bring some bring some cat out. He, he's he's a uh, uh, he's a little taller than me. He got a little bit of size, shaved head. Obviously, I'm assuming he's a southsider, and I see them all walking with him. And I was like, "Oh shit, here we go." And then I see another, I see another CO run out from the program office, putting on his gloves, and he, as he's running at the same time. So I, I already know. I was like, "Okay." So you basically knew that cat was probably active, where that's what you were thinking. Yeah. yeah. So I, I get off my bed, I put on my shoes, and me instead of instead of telling all the homies, like, "Hey, we got some food coming," I go to the door by myself. All right. I was standing right there by the door. Luckily, the homie Jojo was on the phone next to me to my left, but he had to back towards me. So he, he don't know what's going on. So if I wasn't up there, I know Jojo would have got dopey and probably would would have got hurt, you know? Yeah. So anyway, so, so the CEO's open the door, and dude looks at me, I look at him, and he, before he even steps in, he just puts his stuff down. So he's setting his stuff, so I already know, all right, we're getting busy. So we start going at it. Man, we 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 fucking up. We lock up. Big big bop, big bop, big bop, big bop. <laughs> you gotta you gotta do that. Hey, you gotta do that. You know hey, so mean? at the same time that we're squabbling, here comes Jojo. Jojo comes from the side, Jackson. The tiger uppercut. Yeah, all that. You don't know about so. that side joke. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Hey, so we get them down, right? Man, hell of a quick, man. They start, they spray us. They spray me all on my fucking back, my whole back. So I get down, whatever. 
I moved to the side. I'm fucking straight up, bro. And JoJo's still going at it. So I'm like, you know what? Nah, man, because if you do, caught me pretty good in my eye. I'm yeah. like, nah. So I got up. Yeah, I got hey, up. Hey, I hit him about. Huh? Hey, you boy. Yeah, he got one on me. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I don't huh? He raccooned you. No, 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 no. I thought it was going to be that. No, he didn't. At first, I, I was trying to always, I was like, fuck, I'm out with black eyes, but no, nah, it was good. <laughs> mm. Hey, uh, but, uh, okay, so I get back, I get, I get back on him, give him a couple more, and his first, his first win, and I, I, at that time, I can't see no more, I can't see shit, so I get on him, I'm, I'm thrown out, we're all thrown out, uh, here comes all the cops, you know what I mean? I can't see nothing, bro. And uh, uh, I'm just like, fuck, I'm already starting to burn up. I'm like, God damn, take us to the fucking, to, to the water already, you know? Mm-hmm. So they cut us up, take us, take us to the water, rinse off, get to the program office, you know? Yeah, my first question, because cause I'm short to the bad rope. I'm already, uh, I'm already off the floor. I got a couple months left. So my first question is, uh, uh, What's up, man? You we getting the one fifteen? Hell no. Like, nah, man. Yeah. They're like, nah, this is a freebie. You guys are good. I'm like, all right, cool. That's right. So so as we're in the program office, little do I know, they're bringing another dude in. <laughs> and we didn't know this. Me and JoJo, we don't know this. We're, we're over there fucking sprayed up in the program office. Uh, apparently, the, the, homie, the homie little Rob from Santa Maria as soon as dude, as soon as the, the, the dude walks up, the homie little Rob just fires on him. Little homie got mixed. So he starts blending this wolf. Yeah. <laughs> him and like, him and like three other homies, that motherfucker to bruise. But, but this time they know it was coming. You know what I'm saying? The first one, we didn't know it was coming since it was like surprised. The second one, they were ready for him. So, uh, uh, so they ended up after after I'm in I'm in the program office for about forty five minutes, or whatever. They take us to medical. Uh to do to do a seventy two I think it's called a seventy two nineteen. Uh it's just to see just to see if we have any marks or bruises or anything broken, you know what I'm saying? Right. And uh I told the nurses, No, I was good, I'm all right. I was just sprayed. And and when we get to when we get to the program office, I see the homie little Rob there. You know, homie Frankie. I think he's from Indio. Uh, 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 Eric, he's from Boston. Little Southside? Yeah, they, they're all ex Southsiders. Yeah. But they're, but they're cool, they're homies, they're regulars. These are the homies I fuck with, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah matter of fact, you, you, you're going to have a, uh, uh, probably have an interview in the next day or two with, uh, with the homie Rock. But, um, yeah, he's a good homie. But yeah, so, uh, uh, so we're all in there, you know, laughing about the whole situation and shit. Uh, we're in there for about 20 minutes, and they bring us back. And uh, when they brought us back, that's when I hit you on a text, let you know what was going on. Uh, explain the situation to you, whatnot. Anyways, the next day, the, the, the sergeant called us to the office, to the program office. So I, I go over there. I was the first one. I go over there. He's like, hey, uh, uh. He's like, I just want you to sign this chrono. Basically, it was a it was a victim chrono because to make it to make it look like we're the victim, so we don't get the one fifteen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, I'll sign it. And I told him, I, you know, I said, hey, sergeant, I said, look, man, I don't mind, I don't mind cleaning up the yard for you, helping you out. I said, but I I don't want to be sprayed, and 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 give us a heads up, man. I was like, come on, man. I said, I said, if I wasn't right there, if I didn't see, dude. The homie that was on the phone, he would have got hurt. You know, he had his back to the front door, everything, man. Yeah. So, so the sergeant was like, yeah, you know, we're trying to work with you guys. He's like, you know, when, when we tell you to get down, you know, just get down. And, and, and we want you to guys to get your money. And I'm kind of getting into an argument with him. I'm like, man, like, you ain't really trying to get, let us get our money. Like, as soon as we, as soon as we square, up, square up, you're telling us to get down already. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you want to, you want us to get down, or you want us to get our money. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of arguing, I'm kind of argumenting with him. But I, I don't like, I don't like this sergeant man because uh, he came to my room a couple times. He caught me with a couple phones already. Uh, he, he he came at me 
told me he knows I'm selling dope on the yard and all this shit. So I, I, I really don't like that. He's kind of out to, to get me, and I feel like that's why they spray with you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, anyway, I guess after that, they call a little homie Rob over there, and and, and they tell Rob that uh, uh that they want him to start to start basically uh taking care of the situation. Like they were gonna holler at him, let him know, you know when they're gonna bring him for us to have it all set up. Now the way we want it is as soon as these GPs come, we're gonna take them into the fucking uh into the payroll. We're gonna have we're gonna have two or three homies right there, and and if, if they're gonna stay, they're gonna stay. If not, then they're gonna get either two on one or three on one. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. Um, business. Yeah, I, I feel like it should be three on one because uh, you know. If it's the other way around, bro, their objective is to kill us. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we, I, I, yeah, we should not have no mercy on these motherfuckers, you know? No, ain't nothing fair about shit. Ain't nothing fair about that shit, man. Well, hell no. Them, them motherfuckers come with weapons for sure. Yeah, so, hey, so a lot of the times those cats, they, uh, they chose, obviously, they chose to, to come out there and get off. But you, you yeah. also have individuals that... I'm sure when they're when they're uh, whenever they're leaving from wherever they're leaving from, they they tell the homies, hey, we're gonna go we're gonna go get paid, man. But uh, they end yeah. up coming out there, and uh, some of them more than than not end up just saying fuck it and just staying, right? Yeah, there, there was a there's a homie here named Monster from from on, on Federal. He's he, oh. he been here since he, he's been here since before me, but um, flash. What's that? You just put them on blast, so. <laughs> yeah, I kind, of, I kind of had to. So, uh, he burst, he's burnt up now, huh? Yeah, he burnt. But yeah, he he was working all kinds of shit when he got here, and I'm sure he was working, you know, before he got here. And uh, uh, I guess I guess he was walking all the way up here talking about he's gonna get off. You guys are making a bad mistake, making a bad decision. He walks into one of the buildings. That's what I'm talking and, about. And and the previous homie was like, there's homie, one one of the homies. You got a picture of me and the homie. I sent you a picture of me and him, as a matter of fact. The big dude with glasses. Anyway, that food jammed him up. And 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 uh, uh, that monster just took that shit down, and he ended up staying. <laughs> a couple a couple of days after uh, uh uh a couple of days after the situation uh, uh, with me and that GP. Uh, I think I kissed in like three homies have stayed that that were uh initially had time to get off. Yeah, they're upstairs right now. Well not 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 everyone wants problems, man. Some some fools just just like me, just trying to get out, just trying to go home, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, realistically that yard is like for for general population catch, bro, that yard is like they basically tell them, hey, it's a you want to go home yard, right? So they they bring them out and basically tell them if you go out there and you can program with these dudes that are dropouts, yeah. then you can go home X amount of time early, right? Yes, sir. And there's a lot of there's time, so much. There's so much time, going on right now. Go ahead, bro. A lot of times, dudes will come out there. They'll see somebody. They'll they'll see somebody they know. They end up shaking hands with them, and they'll be like, you know what, man. Fuck it, man. I'm good, man. I'm going to just chill, man. That yeah. shit happens a lot, huh? It's always like that. Every every joint that I've been to since uh, since I dropped out, I always ran into someone that I knew from another joint or from when we were GP, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, shit, man. I was wondering whatever happened to you, you know what I mean? Right. And uh, it's it's not necessarily that a motherfucker's a piece of shit. Some, some of these dudes are. Some dudes come back with rape patients, whatever. Weird cases, child molestation cases, all that shit. You know what I mean? But uh, there's still a handful of us that are just that are just regulars, just trying to get out and just go home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 most definitely. Um, yeah. and so that that yard, the yard you're on, it's uh, it's all cell living, right? Yeah, well, well, we got rooms right here in the building. I'm in the the four man rooms. So we got about uh we got about I wanna say twelve rooms on each side. Oh, twelve man. rooms on this side, twelve rooms on that side. You know, you know you know me, bro, but you think I would uh I would make it out there on that yard? 
I, I, I know you would, but I know you'd get, be getting in trouble. I know you'd probably be smacking these fools around, you know what I'm saying? I know how you are. You crazy as fuck. You don't know me. Boy. I know how you are. You, you, I know you would... I know you would get a room and just bring in who you wanted, you know what I'm saying? I know how you are. I know how you program ready, you know? I don't know how you program with them cats, bro. I, mean, I don't I don't look, I don't say nothing about anybody that does. I understand, like, your situation, you know what I mean? Yeah. Them cats, man, uh, man, I, I, I just wouldn't want to know, man, you know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what it is. I don't, I don't want to know, but, but. But yeah, I, I found out, and it's it's all because me being nosy, you know. And I'll look at the I'll look at their IDs and shit. I, it happens all the time, bro. I'll see their ID, and I'll yeah. get nosy. I'll, I'll write their name down, and I'll call my wife. Hey, babe, check this dude out real quick. And and uh, god damn, nine times out of ten, bro, it's bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, oh my god. Fucking these motherfuckers fucking disgust me, bro. It's funny. It's funny, and 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 they 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 all like like they're hiding. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of them keep to themselves. They're not they're not out there trying to trying to hang out. It's it's oh my god, it's fucking crazy, bro. So what they stay in their cells and shit? They don't come out. Yeah, yeah, no, nah. no, nah, it's it's bad. And you could tell the ones that that are because they just they're to themselves and. It's just obvious, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's bad, bro. But, but what could you do, you know? Oh, shit. Hey, hold on, bro. I got the top watch. Hey, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got to hide out with these cell phones, man. I'm in, I'm in the homie's closet right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a whole other thing, man. We gotta hide. We gotta hide everything we do because even if, if certain inmates see us doing our shit, you know what I mean? They're we're vulnerable to get told on, you know? Yeah, man. There's a lot of snitching going on and a lot of hating going on. And, yeah. That's classic S and Y, bro. Right. Right. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers hate. They don't want to see no one fucking making money. They don't want to see no one fucking. They want they want everyone to be miserable with them, you know? Yeah. And so there's nothing else relevant that you can think of in regards to those those yards and how they operate or anything that's going on out there for anybody that doesn't know nothing about those yards. Um ba- basic, basically uh, uh I mean just you know, obviously there's a lot of trash here, bro, but you know, for people that don't know, there's there's still fools here that are just that are just regular men, just trying to get the fuck out, trying to get back to their families, trying to get on with their lives. You know what I'm saying? Trying to leave all the gang shit behind us. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's pretty much that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm just I just put all that behind me and just just trying to be uh, just trying to be a, a a regular citizen. You know what I'm saying? Trying to just I'm trying to stay out of prison, bro. I don't want to come back to prison. You know my downfall with the gangs. The drugs, it wasn't too bad, but at the gangs, that was my, my issue, man. And, yeah. You know, now that, I, now that I have that behind me, I'm going to promote a whole different area, so uh, I hope I'm going to be all right, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah. Get out and uh, <clears throat> just have some more kids and just chill out, man, you know? That's what it's all about, homie. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, unless you got anything else, man, uh, we can wrap it up. Uh, there's there's a couple uh, other cats. Um, there's a couple other cats that are there with you that uh that got stories as well, man. Uh, I'll probably be getting at them within the next day or two or whenever they're available. Um, okay. they got a story to tell, you know. Yeah, I got I got some good homies. They got some good stories to tell. You know, they, they're gonna. They want. They want to talk to you. You know. Yeah. They want to talk to you. That they, they want to. Uh, you know, help you out. And uh. And and even one of them, you know, he asked uh, the homie Lil Rob. He even asked too, if you could help him out. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you guys can 
So I'm going to each other, you know, good homies right there. Well, which, who's that? That's the one that's trying to that's going to go home and trying to do the YouTube thing? Yeah, yeah, he's trying to do pretty much what you're doing. Yep. Yeah, I'll holler at him, Bo. Yeah. All right, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it, man. If, if any more incidents pop up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know if I can think of anything else the next, you know, while I'm here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely let you know, bro. For sure. If these viewers have any other questions, a follow up, bro. I'll be, I'll be getting at you, man. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, homie. Uh, um. Well, uh, you know, bro. I, I, I'll be getting yeah. at you. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm proud of you, Boxer. I'm proud of your success, bro. Yeah. Good looking. Oh, you're, good. You're, you're a success story, my boy. That's right. Yeah, and, and 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 hey, man, a lot, a lot of people don't know, man, but uh. I'll throw you out there and just, just let them know that, man, you you stuck by me through this time, stuck by me more than my family has. You helped me out more than my family has, too, man. I appreciate you. I love you for that, man. I'll yeah. always be in the bed. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's all good, brother. You know, the thing about it is, is I've been where you, you're at, so I, I understand, bro. So, yeah. you know, I know how it is, man. Uh, yeah. yeah, but it's all good, bro. You know, I appreciate you, man. But, yeah, you know what's up. Yeah. But, hey, man, we're going to go ahead and cut this. I'll get at you, homie. Uh, I appreciate it, man, and let them other brothers know, man, that uh, I'm going to be getting with them uh, the next day or two. Okay. Will do. All right. All right, bro. I love you, bro. Love you. All right.